Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm so excited to be doing a palette bingo and I'm going to be doing it using the ColourPop Dream Street palette. This is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration palette that I am focusing on for the month of like mid-May to mid-June. I know I didn't do like a calendar month, but yeah, I'm going to be focusing on this palette alongside my Pacifica Solar palette. If you guys haven't seen that um, intro to that kind of challenge, then I'll link that down below. But this is one of the palettes that I'm focusing on for this month. So I want to take myself out of my comfort zone and play with this palette in a way that I might not choose to do on my own, if that makes sense. So I am really excited to be doing a palette bingo. If you guys don't know what this is, it basically means that you choose randomly however many shadows you want to focus on so I'm going to use four shades I think today maybe five if I feel like the four that I selected aren't gonna really do anything sort of interesting but I'm gonna do four shades randomly selected from this palette and create a look out of it which I'm so excited to do I've seen Emily Noel do this a couple times and I think that she's the one who came up with this this idea um, and I don't know why I've never done it for myself. And then recently I saw Love Heatherette do it with the Yes Please palette. And it just like pinged into my brain like I should totally do that. I've got to try that too. So I'll link both of those channels down below. And I'll link Love Heatherette's um, Yes Please palette. Palette Bingo too down below. I loved watching that so much. So she really inspired me to try this for myself. On random.org I just pulled four numbers. And the numbers that I got are 2, 6, 4, and 12. So on the palette here, I'll show you what I got. So 2 is this guy right here called Magical. Um, 6 is this one right here called Water Bearer. And 4. 4 is this one here, which is called Twinkle. And 12 is this guy right here. So actually... These 2 and these 2. That's going to be a really beautiful pairing. I'm actually really excited about that. So I'm just going to hop into it. I'm actually really excited about that. I don't think it's going to be something like too ridiculously out of my comfort zone, but I do think that's going to be a lot of fun as lately, like ever since I started this project, I actually haven't played with either of these shades and I got pretty lucky having that color selection. So yeah, let's just hop into it. I'm really excited about the shades that I selected and I've already gone in and primed my eyes and set them so I'm just going to go right into shade number two right here which is called magical and I'm going to pop that into the crease. I'm probably going to bring this onto my lower lash line as well after I've done my concealer. I'm going to keep building up the crease so I'm just going to go right into water bearer which is a scary color to go like just start a look with but why not I'm just gonna run with it so I'm going to pop that onto the crease as well and more so on the lid I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower I don't find that this shade is like the easiest to blend but I just find if you go in with a really light hand and with a little bit of product and just work your way up, then it definitely is a little bit easier to work with. And it has spread so much. I did not mean for it to go that far. So I'm just kind of trying to blend out the edges. This shade I tend to find is best to use kind of as a base. It's not the kind of color that you can use totally on its own. So I am glad that I actually got mermaid boy to go with it um, because I just I don't find it has a lot of impact otherwise I'm just gonna go back in with that sec that shade number two that shade called magical just to really buff out those edges and then I can clean up whatever else with concealer as well next up I am gonna go over top of the outer portion of the lid and I'm gonna go in with Mermaid Boy. I'm using this like small flat brush and I'm just gonna pack on quite a bit of product. And then I'm actually gonna spray it. So I have this little Smashbox primer water but it's literally just water in here. Like I used up the whole product and I just put water in here. And I'm just gonna spray that on the brush so that I can really intensify the product. Um, and I'm going to try to place it exactly where I need it. So I'm going to place it on this outer portion of the eye. And 
almost create like a slightly winged kind of shape, hopefully. And now that I have that down, I'm gonna go back into Magical again and just buff that on the edge at the top. And what I wanna do on the inner portion is I want to use that shade, I think I chose number four, yeah. So Twinkle, I want to use that on the inner portion of the eye. And I'm going to put down a glitter primer first. This one's the NYX one. And basically what I do is I just put like the smallest amount and I just run it between my ring fingers and then I just use one per eye basically. So I'm just going to pop that in this inner portion of my eye. And this is just like a different way to intensify it, but I also think that this will keep it from blending into the blue and more like sitting separated from the blue. I hope that that makes sense and I hope that that actually works out. I don't even know, I can't even really envision what it's gonna look like, but I'm hoping so. And then I'm just going to actually just use my ring finger again. I just wiped it off. I'm just gonna use my ring finger to apply that shadow. Oh, that is so pretty. I find that these metallics really need some something to bind it basically to the eye. But oh my gosh, do they ever look beautiful when they have that? look at that look how metallic that is oh so pretty so now that I see how this looks and I absolutely love the way that that like more rose gold shade is pairing with the teal I want to try to bring the blue almost a little bit more around the copper just on the inner portion I really don't want to overdo this though like I'm so nervous about this but I want it to kind of look like a half cut crease so I'm just going to pop that in as delicately as I possibly can but I'm not very good with precision it looks like an absolute mess right now but I actually really really like the way that these colors are pairing together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna clean all of the fallout off I'm gonna do my concealer, I think I'm gonna finish up the rest of my base and then I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line with you guys as well, so I'll be right back. So I'm back and I know I look totally different, but I put on my base, I did everything. I did my under eye concealer, blush, bronzer, highlight, so I will list all the products that I used in the description box. And then I put on mascara and I didn't really wanna get back on camera because my neighbors were being a little bit loud, so I ended up popping on some falsies. I literally used half of these foam mink lashes i'll put the actual like which style they are by ardell but you can see i cut half of these off and they go to basically the inner third of my eye which is insane that goes to show you how small my eyes are um like i had to cut that much off of the lashes and then i ended up making them half lashes from the middle on because they basically um, are longer in the middle to give more of a rounded look, but I ended up having to use them more for a like cat eye kind of look, which works perfectly actually with this look. And then I decided to curl my hair because I just had time for it. So now that all of that is out of the way, I want to finish up the lower lash line. And I think I want to just keep the green on the top lashes. So I think we're just going to go in with the warmer shades. So I'm gonna go back into this shade right here called Magical. I'm gonna use a ColourPop like pencil brush. I'm gonna bring that actually kind of lower down. Now that I have the lashes on, I feel like I can go like way more dramatic than I typically do. So I'm gonna use the shade Twinkle all across my lower lash line and I'm gonna use it wet. I'm not gonna use it with the glitter primer this time because that's just way too hard to apply on the lower lashes, but I just wet it with the um, water. I'm just gonna pop it on the lower lash line all the way across. So I ended up actually bringing it all the way around my tear duct. Don't know why, I just it got a little bit out of hand. So now I actually think I need to sort of ground the green on this side. So I'm just gonna go into the palette again and I'm gonna use the shade right here called Water Bearer. 
the matte one and I'm just going to apply that on the very outer portion. I just feel like now it's a little bit too much of that copper tone. I am going to use another ColourPop product actually. I'm going to use the shade Get Paid of the Cream Creme Gel Liner. I uh, don't want that much. And it's like very similar in tone actually to that shade Twinkle. So it's just going to tie the look together I think. And then I definitely have to add some mascara to those lower lashes to balance the top. And I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is difficult to use on my lower lashes though, but this is what I use on the top and I'm just feeling a little too lazy to grab more. So I'm just gonna do it on its side. I'm having a really tough time deciding what to do for lips for this look, but I think I want to use this shade. It goes so much deeper than it looks in the tube. This is Hudson by Anastasia. I just have like a mini. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. You know what? I'm really happy with the way that that lip looks. I feel super glamorous. I feel like I haven't done my makeup like this dramatic for quite some time, but as you can see on my lips, this is so much deeper. I think it just like immediately oxidizes. I absolutely love this. I think that the shade of the lipstick pairs so well with the shade in the waterline and that like coppery tone. I feel so much more glam than I have been as of late. I've just been like working like nonstop. So it's kind of nice to just sit down and play with makeup and just do something out of my everyday kind of routine and play with the colors that I don't normally pair together. This was a lot of fun. Like a lot of fun. I, I really did enjoy this. Here's a little bit of a close up for you guys. I think that the color pairing is so, so nice. I definitely think that this is quite imperfect. Um, it's not really like a structured cut crease or anything like that, but I really do like the way that this really opens up my eyes and I feel extremely glamorous. Like I feel way more dramatic than I've been in quite some time. So this has just been a lot of fun. So that's absolutely everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed doing this palette thingo. This was so, so much fun. I'm so happy with the result and I'm just, I just really enjoyed sitting down and playing with my makeup. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.